Hello to everyone. Let's talk about the correlation. So we see this point in this area and the, in order to understand correlation, uh, let's say project this point in the two dimension plane. So we have here a Y axis and we have here a X axis. So Y and the X. So uh, we can have uh, some numbers. One, uh, let's say two, let's say three. Okay, and here we can have also one, two. Okay, uh, we can see the in this point uh, uh, some uh, relationship uh, between uh, x and y because has the uh, x increases also y increases and if we can draw uh, some line in the middle of this point and we can see that the uh, we have here a direct relationship has the x increase y increasing but also we can measure how strong is this uh, uh, relationship and uh, we also uh, can have a situation where uh, when uh, x increases y increasing is like uh, uh, when we have this uh, this point so here we see that the x increase and the y uh, decrease also we can have some scenarios that uh, we have a situation that uh, there's no relationship between these uh, two uh, variables x and uh, y if we have a perfect uh, relationship where x increase also y increase the correlation would be one and if, if uh, we have also a strong uh, relationship when x increase y decrease we will have this situation and uh, that the correlation would be a uh, negative one and uh, if we have a situation where there is no relationship will have this situation that uh, the correlation is equal to uh, zero. So we have these uh, three uh, uh, outcomes when we uh, analyze the uh, relationship uh, between uh, two variables have these uh, three outcomes with a strong uh, positive correlated is one uh, if it is a, a strong negative correlated a negative one and if there is no correlation we have a correlation equal uh, to zero let's see, uh, see how we can calculate uh, the correlation uh, we have the uh, variables x and y also have values and we have the format to calculate the correlation so let's calculate correlation for uh, this data so uh, we can uh, first try to find these uh, the values like uh, sum of uh, uh, x uh, minus uh, x min uh, times uh, y minus uh, y min so we can have some uh, have some table here so here we can have x so uh, the mean here is a uh, is 3 so we are uh, 1 uh, minus 3 is my 2 2 minus 3 is oh my uh, negative 1 here yeah, 3 minus 3 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 5 uh, minus 3 is uh, 2.
here we have a uh, uh, y to minus six six is the mean here so uh, six would be a uh, minus four or uh, we have a uh, four minus six minus two six uh, minus uh, six is zero uh, eight minus uh, six is uh, two and uh, we have four now uh, we can uh, uh, multiply this uh, here we have eight we have two zero two eight so uh here we have s squared is four is one zero one four So here, uh, uh, this difference square D is uh, 16, 4, 0, uh, 4, and 16. So uh, now I think that I have all values that I need to plug in in this formula let's plug in so let's say uh, have uh, okay let's have some uh, space here we can do this okay so here yeah, we can say r is equal to uh, here we also all need the sum so here the sum is a uh, uh, 15 here is a uh, uh, third here is zero zero here is 20 here is a uh, 10 and here is a uh, so now uh we have we need this sum here this sum is 20 so we can put here 20 and uh, here we have uh, uh this one time this one will be uh uh 400 so we we have here 10 times 40 we have 400 and this rr will be equal to uh trend over 20. so r will be equal to one so uh, we have strong positive correlation and uh, that's why uh, the outcome is one for correlation thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like